The Russian Navy carried out another test launch of the intercontinental submarine-based ballistic missile R-30 Bulava. The test was performed in the region of Russian Kamchatka. The R-30 Bulava intercontinental ballistic missile was officially adopted by the Russian Navy in June 2018. But, the cycle of tests of this missile, which began in 2008, is still ongoing. The Russians have already fired 25 test launches of the Bulava intercontinental ballistic missile. Sources from the Russian ministry confirmed that during these launches, Russia fired an additional 39 missiles, which were also in the process of testing. The preliminary launch took place on December 12, 2020, when a volley of four Bulava missiles was fired from the nuclear cruiser K-551 Vladimir Monomak. The submarine K-552 Nyazolig is the fifth nuclear submarine of Project 955 Bori. This submarine was launched only in July 2020 and is currently being tested. According to current plans, at the end of 2021 the submarine cruiser Prince Oleg should be transferred to the Northern Fleet or the Pacific Fleet of the Russian Navy. As we reported in July last year the strategic missile submarine Prince Oleg was removed from the structure for the construction and maintenance of ships and launched. These ships will determine the appearance of the Russian Navy in the 21st century. I sincerely want to express my deep gratitude to everyone who hand in hand with us all these years painstakingly built this ship every day. We see the result of labor today in this ship, then said Mikhail Budnichenko, CEO of Sevmesh. The serial nuclear-powered submarine cruiser Prince Oleg was built according to the improved Borea project and belongs to the fourth generation of nuclear-powered submarines. In addition, the submarine is equipped with Bulava intercontinental ballistic missiles. In March, the commander-in-chief of the Russian Navy, Admiral Nikolai Avmanov, said that a fifth-generation submarine with even more advanced characteristics was being developed in the country. The RSM-56 Bulava missile is one of the most impressive weapons in the world today. These nuclear-armed missiles are able to fly over 5,000 miles from the Bore class submarine that launched them. That's far enough for the sub to fire from the southern coast of Brazil and hit anywhere on the US East Coast. And when it hits, it hits hard. Estimates of its punching power vary but it's thought to carry between 6 and 10 independently targeted warheads. And each warhead has a 100 to 150 kiloton yield. While it's hard to get good numbers for how far the different warheads can spread, each one can essentially take out a city, and those cities can likely be spread 100 miles or more apart. Oh, and each sub carries 12 to 16 missiles. Add to all of, that the warhead follows a lower arc, foiling many missile defenses, and can deploy decoy warheads. It's a recipe for absolute destruction. Each submarine can take out, conservatively, 72 city-sized targets. Well, they can do so, if each missile works properly. The Russian Navy maintains one of the largest submarine fleets in the world, but many are older boats that date back to the Cold War. Its force of 11 nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarines, SSBNs, has been considered integral to its strategic deterrent. Despite budget issues that have continued to plague Russia, it has pushed forward with its efforts to update its antiquated submarine fleet with newer boats. Navy Commander-in-Chief Admiral Nikolai Yevmanov said in an interview with the Defense Ministry's newspaper Krasnaya Zvezda that by the end of this year three nuclear-powered submarines including the Project Borea strategic underwater cruiser Nyazolik and the Project Yasin M submarines Kazin and Novosibirsk will enter service with the Russian Navy. 
According to TASS, all three of the boats are being built at the Sevmash shipyard. The Bore A, improved Project 955A, underwater cruiser Nyas Oleg is the first serial produced fourth generation submarine, and she was floated out on July 16 last year and is set to undergo sea trails before entering service with the Russian Pacific Fleet by the end of next year. While the first serial produced boat of the class, it is the second to be completed. Last year the lead sub Nyas Vladimir was handed off to the Northern Fleet which has begun a gradual process of phasing out its older Delta and Typhoon-class boats. The Bore AA is twice as large as its Typhoon-class predecessor and marginally faster. More importantly, it is capable of fielding a much more powerful payload, which is why it will become the basis of Russia's seaborne strategic nuclear force. The submarine can carry 16 RSM-56 Bulava Intercontinental Ballistic Missiles ICMB, a submarine launch derivative of the Topol-M, as their basic armament. The Project Yasin-M submarines Kazan and Novosibirsk are set to be part of a new line of nuclear-powered cruise missile submarines that were designed to phase out Russia's aging, Soviet-era attack submarines. The original Yasin boat, Severodvinsk, was laid down in 1993 but construction work sputtered in the years following the collapse of the Soviet Union. Due to a number of cyclical delays and budget deficits, the submarine was only launched in 2010. The class was upgraded updated under the Yasin M designation. The new revision is reported to be stealthier, possibly utilizing low magnetic steel for a reduced magnetic signature and the latest nuclear reactor technology for reduced overall acoustics. The Yasin M submarines carry caliber PL and Onyx cruise missiles as their primary strike weapons. The submarines will also reportedly support the new 3M22 Tsirkin winged anti ship hypersonic cruise missile, which is reportedly capable of hitting targets at a speed of over 8 Mach, or around 9,800 km per hour. In addition, the Yasin M class retains the same standard 10-533mm torpedo tubes of the original Yasin line. Six additional Yasin M submarines are also in varying stages of construction, with the next three of those, Krasnoyarsk, Arkhangelsk, and Perm slated to be launched this year.